It is something that's kind of been lost. And it does make the elders happy and excited that you're getting out there and doing what they used to do. Oh, mama. Yeah, this is the end. End of the line right here. The fish are all spawned up now. These are uh, sockeye salmon. Some of them are still spawning. You can see eggs and stuff in the water, but the fish are kind of like this all over the place up here right now. I mean, they're in the lake. They're in the creeks. I mean, they're everywhere. You got to catch them as soon as they get into the lake, basically. Because once they hit fresh water, they stop feeding, and then they start basically dying. They start turning red, and their meat starts to turn white, and they no longer taste good at all. And it's like mushy, it's like soft. They're not good to eat. For the next couple weeks, there'll be fish around just kind of dying and floating up on the beach. You can tell that the bears have been coming down because all the, all the grass is all matted down, and there's dead fish all over the place. This is kind of their feeding ground. See what else I can see. Oh man, look at that. The bear's stashing his fish right here. It's super fresh too. And once the bears get full, they'll kind of stop eating the whole salmon. They'll just start eating like the good parts, like the belly and stuff. I think I'm gonna keep going a little more, do a little more exploring. That's a pretty cool find. It's good just to get out and explore. Stuff's kind of always changing out here too, you know, the topography of the land, and it's good to see if the salmon are schooling up in different places. How many bears are out and about. You know what all the animals are up to this time of year. Back here, just kind of checking out where the bears are hanging out, where the rat, about how many there are around. I mean, there's, there's a lot of bears around here. And they will try to protect their feeding ground. That is something you kind of have to worry about because we're like right where they're eating right now. I like kind of knowing what they're doing, where they're at. Firstly, just so you can stay away from them kind of a thing. Because certain years you'll have more aggressive bears. Some years you'll have bears that break into stuff. But there is that off chance that you run into that bear that just wants to eat your face off. I can hear the bears moving around in here, but I can't see them. I don't like being this low to them. I think I'm gonna climb up this hill over here so I can kind of see what's going on. I don't have to have a showdown with a bear if I don't have to. Oh, the brown bear. It's a pretty big bear. See, over to the left now. Growing up out here, it's burnt into you that you shouldn't really be afraid of them. I mean, you should respect them, but they do just want to leave you alone for the most part. Three bears just came out of the woods. They're fighting over a fishing spot. They're pretty good size, too. They're coming to check out the salmon uh, creek. I'm not really worried about the bears, partially because I have a gun. They don't really care about you, especially right now, because they have like as much food as they can eat. This time of year, you can really see the life cycle of everything, you know, because the fish are coming up, and everyone, everything kind of seems to feed off the fish somewhat. There's just thousands of fish out here. The seals are coming in to eat the salmon. I mean, the bears are here. It'd be nice if I could get out, catch some pike, maybe shoot a seal. You know, have a little variety. 